Today we are going to be talking about the extra carbon fiber card holder and this is the carbon fiber version of their aluminum card holder. Uh, they are essentially the same thing however this one's just a different material so if you are interested in the aluminum version there's not a much difference outside of the materials. So with that let's get right into it. The extra card holder is a minimalist wallet uh, that basically forces you to be able to choose what exactly you want in your wallet and nothing more. The biggest issue with a lot of different wallets out there especially those bifold trifold wallets is you end up with three seats that have been there for like eight years and then you finally get them out of your wallet and you realize all of the text is just worn off anyways and it's been pointless that you've had it in your wallet all that time so a minimalist wallet is awesome in helping you only carry around exactly what you need as you can see it does a great job in holding cash and cards and that is about it and that is all you really need i used to have bifold trifold wallets all that kind of stuff in about a year year and a half ago or so i figured out i needed a minimalist wallet and so i ended up with a ridge that was gifted to me and i used that for about a year until i ended up with this wallet which has now become my daily driver because i think it is the best wallet out there right now so as for the features of this wallet the main thing about it is this feature right here where it splays out the cards basically what you do is you push this button right here and it fans the cards out in front of you this is really really nice because a lot of the other wallets are actually kind of difficult to get to the card whereas with this extra being like fanned out like that you're able to easily access cards that are in the middle not just on the outside so a lot of times you'd only be able to get into a card here and a little bit right here however it'd be difficult to get the cards that are in the middle and that's kind of a pain so while you have easy access to about six cards right here if you want to have more cards in it you can easily put some in right here so basically there's a little plate right there where you're able to put more cards they are still reasonably easily accessible by just pushing right there and it pushes them up you can put your lesser used cards back there and then of course the cash strap goes around to the back where you can keep your extra cash so really that is all you should have and all you really do need in your wallet awesome thing is is because it is so thin and so compact you are able to fit it in your front pocket whereas having to put it in your back pocket I'll say for myself anyways that hurt my back uh, and I never realized how much of a difference it made until I started moving my wallet into my front pocket uh, and this is a great solution for that. This wallet is a little bit larger than other wallets on the market uh, just because it has that mechanism you can see this push button right here it has the mechanism in the bottom here so it's not the exact same size as credit cards as you can see right here that's that would be about that size you can actually see I have my original wallet right here you can see the difference between the two wallets so this is a little bit larger I will say it's not super noticeable in my pocket which is why I'm willing to go with something that is a little bit larger just for that added functionality so that is the features I'm going to now go through the things that I do like about it and then I'm going to go through the things that you know I don't necessarily like about the extra card holder so let's talk about the first thing I like about the extra card holders uh, is just ease of access to cards I've already alluded to it a little bit and just being able to push a button and you automatically have your cards out that is extremely 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 nice. Uh, it works really, really well. I It doesn't fail on me. You're able to easily access it whenever you need it. It's super easy to use, no problems. And then having access to your cards on the back is also very nice as well uh, to be able to have easy access to cards that you don't normally use quite as much. And also another thing that I like is how lightweight this wallet is. While it is a little bit heavier than my Ridge wallet, having the carbon fiber does lighten it up a bit, which is nice. And it really isn't a heavy wallet whatsoever. The next thing is more of a characteristic of minimalist wallets in general is just not being able to carry more than you need. As I talked about before, this minimalist wallet makes it so that I had to get rid of all those old receipts, got rid of all those things that I didn't need in my wallet. Now I only carry what I need. And then finally, I actually really like the way this looks. I like that it's a little bit more intricate than a lot of the other wallets, like the Ridge wallet and that kind of stuff. It just has a little bit more of an interesting design to it, having that plate, having the band, it has a nice extra logo right there. It just looks a little more interesting than a lot of the other simplistic wallets out there and of course it being forged carbon fiber I like the way that looks as well which actually brings me now into the things that are actually I think the shortcomings of this wallet while there are very few of them that is actually one of the shortcomings of this specific wallet actually is the forged carbon fiber it actually looks like fingerprints pretty much everyone I've shown this wallet to thinks that this thing has fingerprints all over it however that is actually kind of the forged carbon fiber that you see there it looks a little bit like fingerprints to people that don't know what forged carbon fiber is which is a little bit disappointing, especially when I like showing off my stuff. However, I like the forged carbon fiber, so you kind of got to weigh that as to what you want. If you are worried about that, I would just go with the weaved carbon fiber or go with one of their aluminum card holders. Features between the aluminum version and these carbon fibers are nearly identical, so everything I'm talking about other than the carbon fiber related stuff 
not a big problem. The other thing I don't like about it, well, I don't personally mind it a ton, is, you know, you can't get away from the fact that it is a little bit larger than the competition. Uh, if you are trying to completely get minimalist and just get as much stuff out of your pockets as physically possible, you are adding about that much bulk to your pocket. So if you are wanting to do that, I would recommend going a different direction. However, what I have found is it's not super noticeable. And just having the additional features of being able to fan out your card like that is just really, really nice. So with that said, while there are upsides and downsides, I have been testing out tons of different minimalist wallets lately, including an Axwell. I've been using the Ridge wallet for a year. I've been trying out Exter. And I can say I actually really, really, really like this wallet. This is my daily driver. This is the one I immediately go to. I do switch between wallets, just kind of testing them all out. However, I consider this one my daily, and I don't really see that changing anytime soon. Um, I think it does a great job of weighing all the different features you need out of a wallet, like easy access to cards and just styling and all that kind of stuff. And I do really, really highly recommend this wallet. And if you are on the fence of what wallet to get, I'd probably get this one, honestly. You just can't go wrong. I think it just works really, really, really well. That's really well thought out and has all of the features you would want out of a wallet like this. There are, of course, other wallets that Extra makes, including some that you can put an air tag on. So if you are interested in tracking your wallet so that you don't lose it or if it's stolen, that kind of stuff you can actually attach an air tag to it anyway so make sure to check out their website i do have an affiliate link down in the description honestly it's just a fantastic wallet and you should check it out what do you guys think about this wallet is it too complicated is it too large or is it something that you really really want if you have any comments any questions or anything like that make sure to leave them down below and i would love to hear from you and if you found this video helpful make sure to click like on this video it makes it so that other people can see this video as well and have a great one